Natural capitalism is a way of doing business that is more profitable than how we do business now, solves most of the problems that are confronting us, such as climate change and scarcity of water and energy. It's based on three principles, which is, first of all, use all resources dramatically more efficiently because by squeezing out the waste of resources, you put money in your pocket. And it also buys us time to confront the serious challenges facing us. The second principle is to redesign how we make and deliver everything so that our products are fundamentally sustainable, so that they, they don't use dangerous materials, they don't harm people or the environment, and they deliver the service that we want in better ways, in smarter ways. The third principle is to manage all of our institutions to be restorative of the forms of capital that we're losing in the way we do business now, particularly human capital, intact community, and natural capital, intact ecosystems. Both of these are declining. If you look in the Great Valley, we're losing the little towns, we're losing the number of farmers on the land. This is culture that we're losing, it's community that we're losing, it's human capital that we're losing because of the way in which we now do business. There are a lot of things we can do to regrow community. For example, in Braddock, Pennsylvania, it's a little rural town near Pittsburgh, they went from 20,000 people down to 2,000. This town's dying. The mayor said, we're not going to die. We are going to repair our economy using green technologies. So they take the vacant land and they grow organic vegetables for the restaurants in Pittsburgh. They are growing oil crops that are the feedstock for biodiesel, which is keeping in place a hundred-year-old third-generation oil company. And they're attracting companies that are building renewable energy, wind and solar, and other sustainable technologies. This is something that every community can do to keep itself alive.